maybe six phases, right? So yesterday we talked about, why do I do this? <laughs> I know this. <laughs> oh my God, it'll come to me. Wait, what's my paper? Here we go. Welcome to 50, guys. Okay. We talked about the initiation phase, right? And that's where you have to dis decide to divorce yourself from the life that you're living, from anything that's no longer serving you, right? Today, we're going to be talking about requirements analysis. Now, during this phase, now that you've decided what you don't want, now you have to define what you do, right? Requirements analysis. What is it that you require to, 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 to exist in this life where it's going to fulfill you and make you feel content and you know you guys know i mean the training was wild you know and you got to people say well all i need is jesus yeah right okay yeah stop that stop that lie stop it stop it all i need is you jesus y'all know good and well you cannot take well some of us but you know what i mean you know what i'm getting at i'm not making light of our creator now y'all know i'm not but i'm just saying just get real about it okay just get real because you need to understand that you are doing God a major disservice when you do not, when you, whatever you want wants you, what do you think that want comes from? That comes from when you, your innate design. That's why you got all different types of cars, you got all different types of homes, you got all different types of things like that. That's why you have that in you, right? So you need to define what that is in you that's going to bring you contentment and, and, and keep your joy and your vibration high where you can glorify our creator for your existence. You know, once, you, once, your, once your consciousness and everything is made aware of things, of what you possibly could have, because remember what we said you last week, you know, when you get a clear vision of what that is, that's, that's spirit telling you what you're capable of achieving and having in your life. See, that's what I'm telling y'all. Y'all need a glimpse. Because I'm telling you, this time last year, New Year's Eve, I got a glimpse, baby. I mean, I was, I could touch it. I could touch it, you know. And it was the most exhilarating thing. It, 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 it infused me with the energy that I needed to keep moving forward towards what that is. I'm telling you guys. When, and you have to analyze that now. And that's where life's experiences come, come, come in. Thank you, Spirit. So when you have these life experiences, you're actually analyzing what you require to be the best you. Ooh, let that sink in for a second while I have a sip of my shake. Mm-hmm. People, your life experiences is your requirements analysis phase. Yes, it is. So when you're going through life, you're trying this, you're trying that, you go, I don't like that. You know, and you and you have these experiences where you like, you know, where you feel like you've blown it and you're like, man, that was not me. I don't know why I behaved like that. That's letting you know that's not you. You're going through your requirements analysis phase. But then when you start to doing the requirements analysis phase, you also have to define. You're defining what you require to exist in this human form. So that you can be the best spiritual being on the planet. Be the best you. So you, you are analyzing and you're defining what you require as a spiritual being in human form. That's deep, ain't it? Yeah, Vanessa, I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> Woo! So full with the twist. Okay, so now that you've done that, you can start documenting that, what you want. That's why it says, write the vision, make it plain. Write it down now. Write it down. That's why you shouldn't rush into a lot of things. Just try some things, you know. And then you make that decision. You define what that looks like to you. And then you write it down. Write the vision, make it plain. So when you write that vision and you make it plain, then you're able to conceive it in your mind's eye as they call it now guys that's phase two now i know what phase three is it's design and development and that's going to take us in the next phase tomorrow so yesterday we talked about initiation you have to decide right to divorce yourself from the life that you're no longer living and today we're talking about requirements analysis and definition 
Guys, I want to thank you so much for joining me. I want to thank you. May you have a terrific, triumphant, transformative Tuesday. If you want to donate to the cause, you can donate via Cash App. It's in the description box, I think. Yeah, I think it is. And you can go to Amazon and purchase. Is that all you got? Bring it. Or time to transform. Yeah. So, guys, I want to thank you so much. Uh, my jewelry was provided by uh, Lisa Carter with Impressive Jewels. Y'all check her out. It's going to be a great day, guys.